This book. Okay. Oh, yes. This book made me angry. Okay. Not, not only is Porkins not mentioned, the, the man who sacrificed it all, our, our savior, our lord, not mentioned. They don't even mention Red Six. They they are trying to silence the truth of Porkins's sacrifice for all of <laughs> all of the go, the fucking galaxy at large. Is this we've made a cult in our podcast? Is this just like the next thing? It's like crazy fucking conspiracy theories that we spread across the internet. Excuse me? Have They're we not already done Porkins? that? <laughs> We've, no, but, like, are we going to start a social media campaign where it's oh like, why God. are you silencing Porkins, Lucasfilms? Disney, why do you hate Porkins? All I'm saying is, not a single mention. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying. Of the most vital character in all of Star Wars canon. <sighs> you can't say that after I said that this is not a bit. Because now you're making it a bit. But I love Porkins. I know I you just, do, goddammit. it. I, I need. <laughs> so I had to Google because I've never actually Googled Porkins' actor. Uh, he's in a lot of stuff. No he's in a lot us. of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um. You know how it's got the people also ask section on Google where with a oh, bunch no. of drop down yeah. boxes. So uh -huh. I need you the third one down. After why did Porkins die and what happened to Porkins is <laughs> are there Porkins in Rogue One? <laughs> oh my god. It really is are there Porkins in Rogue One? <laughs> are there Porkins in Rogue One? It's a real thing. Google? Hey Google? What the fuck? There's a fucking article from 2016 <laughs> entitled "We Need to Talk About Porkins." Okay, ben, did this you is write the rest this? of the podcast now? This is ben, the rest of the podcast this? now. This is I the did, rest of the I podcast. I did not write that, unfortunately. <laughs> what's Please what's this article? Hey, hey, what's uh, what's Porkins' midichlorian count? <laughs> I feel that. I am being made fun of. <laughs> and it's hard not to make fun Listen, of Porkins the I'm opening not... line from this article. I am in no way making fun of Jeff All right, Porkins. listen here fucking article, fucking fuck it, who wrote this? Uh, the Reb sure the Rebel well, pilot. Well laugh it up fuzzballs because the actor who played Porkins had more more of an interesting life than any of us. <laughs> That's true. He was a classmate of Tommy Lee Jones? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is the title of this episode just gonna be Porkins? We hardly knew ye. Like what are we we're just going through Rob fucking we're going through his whole, whole fucking career in this article I'll, right now. Why are we doing this? I'll have Robert you know. Robert the co-founder of National Lampoon, went to St. Mark's at the same time as Hootkins and Jones. The musicians, Steve Miller and Bob Skaggs, were just a few years ahead of him. I don't know who I don't know who Bob Skaggs is, to be 100% honest. But they weren't the only people of note at St. Mark's. In the summer of 63, Hootkins... Hootkins was the only student to enroll for a Russian class taught by Mrs. Ruth Payne at the school. This is where we find out that uh, Porkins is the machine. Oh my god, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This got fucking juicy. It was an arrangement that seemed to work out for everyone, until it turned out Lee had been using the Payne Garage to store 65 millimeter caliber Carcano rifles what that he fuck? would allegedly use to assassinate U.S. President John Jesus F. Kennedy Christ. from the what? sixth floor southeast <laughs> corner window of the book depository. As the sole student in Ruth Payne's Russian class at St. Mark's, 
Hoopkins was interviewed by the FBI about the assassination, but it was eventually determined that Ruth and Marina didn't know what Lee was planning, and they were in the clear. Lee Harvey Oswald, of course, was killed by Dallas nightclub owner Jack Ruby on live television just two days after JFK's death, pouring gasoline on an inferno of conspiracy theories. Wait. So essentially so, what we've just learned... Okay, this really is the rest of the episode. Did Porkins, learned, did Porkins assassinate JFK? <laughs> You are right, writer. We do need to talk about Porkins. <laughs> Listen, I, I would like to stop talking about Porkins, guys. <laughs> no, God, we are not. I can't, I, can't, I can't wait. Inevitably, I will come across someone on Reddit one day that hears about this from here, goes down this rabbit hole, goes fucking nuts with it, and I will read someone on fucking Reddit like five years from now like, Listen, I only believe two things. One, the earth is flat. And two, Porkins <laughs> killed JFK. <laughs> I can't. I can't. This is too much for information for my brain to process. Uh. After all the excitement, Hookins went to Princeton to study astrophysics before transferring to, okay, Oriental study, Studies. That's when a friend of his, aware that Hootkin's true passion lie in acting, suggested he should move to London to study at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Arts. That friend, by the way, was John Lithgow. What is happening? <laughs> I'm just going to uh, close my notes. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> We'll get to it eventually, but Hookins ended up taking Lithgow's advice. Not only did he study in London, but he ended up living there for most of his life, playing host to the likes of Marlon Brando and Martin and Charlie Sheen in his ha home in Pimlico. I don't know the correct pronunciation of that either. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know how to take any of this. He Okay, so what we've learned so far is that Porkins, the actor who played Porkins, Hootkins, had a fascinating career. Um, uh, he was in Batman, actually. I didn't know that. But he was in all kinds of Lucasfilms projects. He was in all kinds of movies. Um, and also, he killed JFK. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this rabbit hole. I feel like this we is, have to devote time to it, but it just ends like that. It just ends this with... This is really peak, this fucking podcast. <laughs> it, I mean, this is really indicative of what this whole show has become. Uh, are you saying that pridefully or disdainfully? <laughs> I don't know anymore, man. It's all... I have so many confusing feelings. <laughs> I know we have a podcast to do. We have interesting things to talk about. You know, now we know that Porkins was originally supposed to be Job of the Hut in the human form too, which is interesting. I can't stop thinking about this fucking JFK fact. I don't know what to do with it. It's just it has put my brain already tired from a long day into information overload. Listen, it's not every day that you learn the truth about what really happened in one of the most historic moments in American history. It's not every day that you just stumble upon this information. Well, now that kind of explains why you watch A New Hope, and in one of the close-up shots of Porkins, he just goes back to the left. <laughs> I'm very sad right now. I need a moment. Listen, this is a celebration of Porkins' very interesting life. This this celebration has brought me into a depressive state via accusations of presidential assassinations. <laughs> <laughs> this is I, of I, all the of all the conversations I thought we were gonna have this afternoon. Yeah, nobody expected to talk about how Porkins killed JFK, Ben. None of us were expecting 